like an apple or a bug. Well, I guess bugs aren't inanimate. Yeah, bugs are alive. Hey guys, I'm super excited to bring you things you can do every day to make you a better songwriter. Number one, expose yourself to new music. Now it seems kind of obvious, but a lot of times we get stuck in the routine of listening to the same songs over and over and over again because we like them. But really in order to become a better songwriter, it's so important to expose yourself to things that you don't listen to. Simply because there is no such thing as an original song anymore. The only thing that makes a song original is taking a bunch of different pieces and smushing them together in your own unique style. So expose yourself to a lot of different music. If you usually listen to punk rock, go listen to some jazz or some R&B. See what little things you can find in other genres of music that you can bring into your own. Number two, write not songs every day. Make a daily habit of picking a topic, whether it be a deep, profound topic, or whether it be an inanimate object, like an apple or a bug. Well, I guess bugs aren't inanimate. Yeah, bugs are alive. Pick a subject or a topic or something and set a timer on your phone. So 10 to 20 minutes, depending on this exercise, you can start with 10, go all the way up to 20 minutes. Heck, you could even go an hour if you got nothing else to do. And just write and really try to dive deep into the emotions and the sensations and the feelings. What is that? bring about in you. You know, if you're writing about an apple, describe that in such depth. The point of this exercise is you want to start digging into the deep parts of yourself because if we don't spend time digging deep into our writing, we're going to always stay at this surface level. But if we take time to really dig deep in our writing, we're going to start uncovering different parts of ourselves that we didn't even know were there. And those things are going to start coming out in your songs. Tip number three is to improve your vocabulary. Interesting songs make interesting, no, I said that wrong. Interesting words make interesting songs. We've all heard the songs, they use the same rhymes every single time. They rhyme love with above and smile with worthwhile and heartbeat with complete. It's almost to the point where when we hear a song, we can almost anticipate what they're gonna say because everyone uses those same rhymes. However, when you start listening to some artists that get super creative with their words, it's refreshing and it's awesome and it's, it's just really nice. So start expanding your vocabulary. One of the things that I do that's really, really helpful to me is whenever I have downtime, instead of pulling out my phone and immediately going to Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or social media, I will pull up um, this app I have that randomly generates lists of words. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of just scroll through this list with my eyes and if I find a word that looks interesting, I'll put it on my list and I keep a running list on my little notepad that has all the interesting words I find. So like the other day, um, I was at someone's house and there was this brand of soda they had called Spindrift. And I was like, that's such a cool word. So I looked it up and it means like the the water that the wind blows off the top of waves. And I was like, oh, that's super cool. That could be a really cool line. So start collecting new words. And whenever you have downtime, use a random word generator. Um, you can get an app on your phone. And if you run across a word that seems interesting but you don't know what it means, look it up. And then when you add that word to your list of interesting words, put the definition next to it. And then just keeping this running tally of words, whenever you're writing a new song, you can pull out this list, go through, and try to find some words that might seem interesting. And before you know it, you're going to be able to use words like hyperbole, and hypothesis, and naivety, and, and words that you normally don't hear in songs, and they're going to make your songs awesome and interesting and different from all the other not so great songwriters that are just rhyming the same words over and over and over again. I hope these three tips helped you out. Things you can do every single day to improve your songwriting, become a better songwriter, and I can't wait to hear what you guys produce. From me to you, I love you guys. Have a great day. Peace out.